So we're doing a little experiment here. It makes very little sense to have these captured wheel spacers in this hub that comes standard on this Husky, Husqvarna. So I built some, fabricated some little shoulders in here and here for the spacers to rest on. So in order to change tires, which happens quite a bit on this machine, all we need to do is match the disc into the pads. Come up, come up. There we go. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay, so the spacers are resting on those little shoulders. And because of the design, the chain adjusters still work just fine. And now, the wheel is perfectly aligned for the axle. And then, we can just put the adjusters back on. goes. So that's pretty easy. And it doesn't make much sense to do it on the rear and not do it on the front as well. So we've got the axle is in. I also made this little slider slash puller. Anyone who has a KTM understands or a modern KTM understands the irritation involved in getting this axle out. There we go. So the axle's out. The spacers are held on similar little shoulders like that. So wheel out, new wheel in. Oops. There we go. Design's not quite finished yet. I need a little plastic spacer right here. So that's a 30 millimeter diameter right here. So the wheel is in place. There we go. And then we tighten up this giant nut. And then, <laughs> there. and then of course you've got to make sure that this fork leg is parallel to this one. So don't tighten these until you've had a chance to bounce the wheel or the suspension up and down. Okay. So once the, once the caliper is off, that's the next thing I'm going to look into. And do this, and do these. Pull the axle out, and the wheel is automatically lined up. Lift it out, lift the new one back in. spacer right there. Okay. Simple as that. So it is a lot easier to change with these little thingies. I don't know. Shelves, shoulders, whatever. Okay. That's it for now.